Hey y'all, good morning, it's Leslie. Um, and I'm here with another Happy Mail. This one is again from Dawn at Craft Paper Projects. And she and I have developed a little friendship and so we exchanged some Christmas presents. And um, so it, she's just an amazing person and her uh, projects that she creates, her cards and things are just so beyond the ordinary, um, simple uh, Stampin' Up style card where you cut a piece of paper, put it on there, stamp a sentiment, and you know, you're done. Um, she does so much more. For example, let me go ahead and show you the card that she sent me with this um, piece. I, I've already taken out the note that she wrote. So this is the front of this card, and this this would be one of her more simple cards. Um, she does them of all uh, levels. If you go back to look at some of the Happy Mails that I've done of her before, I will link my Happy Mail playlist, and you can go through it, and you can see all the cards she's made me over the time, and they're just, every one is just more amazing than the next. So for this one, um, she's got a... Um, a metal embellishment piece here. I don't know if it was a brooch to start with, but it's it's just exquisite with all those um, porcelain uh, flowers on top of it and the the gems in it. It's it, it just just exquisite. And then she has married that with some of this vintage paper. I believe this was bow bunny paper. She said, and it's um does that help with the light a little bit? It um. Just, just beautiful, and you can see some of this other vintage paper that she's put in, and it says, I have the very best, and then on the inside, I told her it better say friend. <laughs> oh, she's a mess. Um, again, this beautiful paper, I think she said it was Bow Bunny, um, but it is, it's exquisite. I'm going to have to see about getting some of that because it's just beautiful, and she always decorates the back too, and sometimes even more than this. But it's just, just beautiful cards, and then she wrote her note on a piece of the um, decorative paper, so I told her that probably what I'm going to do is put it up here like this, and that way I always have the note with the card, and um, then it goes right over into the um, uh, cards that Dawn has made for me. Um, okay, so... She, she, like I said, she sent me a Christmas gift. So I told her that uh, I showed this in one of my videos that I had gotten one of these, and I should have gone ahead. We had they had two sets at my Hobby Lobby. There's this one, which is about um, I don't know, 10, 12 inches wide, and then they had a number two, which was about this size and a little bit shorter. And I should have gone ahead and gotten both of those. And both sets of them just because when I got home I found the perfect place for it and as I get that piece organized a little better I'll show it to you so I mentioned to Dawn that they were on sale she was going to Hobby Lobby that day and I said well look she was gonna send me a box for my birthday I said um, get me one of these baskets and I'll pay you for it well of course she won't let me pay her for it so you know Shame on her. But here we go. She she got me this um, basket. So now I have two of those. And then it ended up good that I don't have more than um, that because I got another thing planned. Um, I did go to my other Hobby Lobby. I'll let you look at this while I tell you. Um, I don't know if this works. And I hate to tell anybody else my secret because then they might tell people that work at Hobby Lobby. But um, I went in and they weren't on sale this is before i told don to get me this one and they weren't on sale and since they weren't on sale i wasn't going to pay the full price i mean you know we got to wait for the 50 percent off don't we well so i took it from the shelf where it was sitting and i hit it like back behind something big on a different shelf and so i was hoping that maybe when i went back it would still be there when it was on sale did i just give away my secrets yeah that's, that's so not good. And Hobby Lobby's probably going to watch this and say, nope, can't do that. Actually, Hobby Lobby hasn't watched any of my videos that I know of. They haven't commented on them. But I did a Walmart haul, and Walmart watched it, folks. Walmart.com has a web page, uh, YouTube channel, and they watched my video. It was cool. 
Okay, the other thing Dawn got me is, I don't know if you remember, but a couple of Happy Mails ago from Dawn, or maybe it was the last one, she sent me a canister that had this on there. And I use it in my kitchen, and I put my cough, my uh, little um, plastic container of my coffee down inside of there and my metal spoon, and it sits right by my coffee maker, so I see it every morning. And... Um, my kitchen, well, my whole house is done in farmhouse style. It's nothing, um, like this is very blatant farmhouse, nothing like that. Um, my home is just farmhouse because of the antiques I've collected and the enamelware that I have that's real old enamelware. So basically, my house has um, lots of, you know, enamel, real enamelware like this. And uh, Dawn saw it, plus she knew that I love the red trucks, and so she picked up the canister, and then she picked this up, and it's a sorter. And so she wanted it in the craft room. I said, but you know what? It looks so great. I'm going to put it in the kitchen, because I already had one of these um, that I had purchased. I guess I'll get that and show you, too. I showed it to you in a haul, but... Um, it was this, and it's more than 12 inches wide, and it's deep. So when I put my mail in here, it flopped over. I didn't have, I had to put something inside of here to hold my um, pins and, and that sort of thing. So it was doing its purpose and I loved it and it's beautiful, but it works so much better down here with my scrap white paper in it. This is scrap uh, cardstock wipes and creams. And so I just put them in here and it sits on my desk where I use it all, all the time. Okay, so anyway, so I'm doing, okay. People, don't. Everybody's wanting to follow now. Okay. So, I have this up in my area, and I was going to show you that a full 8.5 by 11 can sit in this slot here, but it doesn't do the, um, I'm sorry. I love you, bye. <laughs> my daughter's music. So, um, then my dog's going to bark. Um, so anyway, and I have an 11 will go in here and it does flop, but this sits up against the wall. Um, so it doesn't matter. And then my daughter's car. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. It's just fun this morning, isn't it? Okay. And then, so I've got my notes and, and little, um, other, uh, uh, mail pieces in there, my charging cord and a few coupons, and then the ink pens and things, and I put my scissors in there as well. And this sits on my desk, um, and like I said, this sits against the wall so it doesn't go anywhere. That doesn't even belong in there. Okay, so she sent me that. Shame on her. She's she's just the sweetest thing. I, you guys, I just she's so sweet and. You know, that was enough. You know, she sent me the basket that I had asked for, and then she sent me that that um, divider. But then she sent me this. This was in her craft room, and she loved it. She really did. But then she sent it to me, and it was painted like this. Um, and she painted it in the reds for it to go with my house. And then... Um, this is the shade that came on it, and I absolutely love it. And it it just runs this. So what I'm doing is I'm working up a place for it to live. I mean, I have a place for it to live. I've got shelves and things like that for it to sit on it, sit on my desk. But I'm I'm working up a little thing that's going to be like a organizer for your desk, and it's going to use some antiques and things like that. So I'll be showing that in an upcoming video, hopefully. Hopefully soon is what I should say. So the rest of her um, uh, thing is she had, you guys, she had this. Um, and it was like this in the box. And she had told me she was sending it. She asked if it was something I can use. And I was like, yeah, sure, I can use that. I can figure out something to do with it. So she sent it and it was like this. And I swear, when I opened the box, I was looking at it, and I was going, why did she send me the inside of computer parts? <laughs> yeah. So, no, this is um, a puppet 
die. Uh, it's like a puppet uh, curtain die. So there's this part. The whoops. This, which, um, if you can tell, this has like the lights that would shine down on the puppets like that. Um, this would be maybe you can tell a little better. This would be like the curtains on the side. You can see how it would just have the curtains showing. And then here is like the frame area. And so I told her, sure, I can figure out something to do with that. Yeah. Right after I want to know why you're sending me computer parts. <laughs> anyway, okay. So she sent that. And then she had gotten a new die cut. And what it is, is the, um, it was the, Pitcher, I think the pitcher and the spoon came together. And then there was the teacup. I don't know, maybe the spoon went in the teacup. I'm not sure. But anyway, there was the teacup. And then there was the tea kettle. And I was telling her, you know, we were talking about it and everything. And I was telling her that my grandmother collected uh, pitchers, tea kettles, and um, spoons, and um, teacups. She actually collected tea sets. And um, I have... One of the pieces of the first tea set she ever gave me, it was a little raggedy in tea set on a little metal um, enamel weird kind of stuff, and it was raggedy in. And then I have the first tea set that she gave um, me that was porcelain as well. Um, here is um, some paper that Dawn sent me. I had um, commented on a project that she showed how this piece right here is just perfect. And if she had an extra piece of this, actually, I didn't say that. I said, where did you get it? What what brand was it? Because if I wanted um, some, I would go and see if I could find some. Well, she sent me what she had left. She said she wasn't going to use it. She used it for her son in a project. And so she sent it to me. And I haven't been able to find it online um, either. So, so that kind of worked out. Uh, wasn't that so sweet of her? Um, but my daughter loves music. She is a Converse wearing girl. And so this would just, this is just, this speaks her. And of course, purple is her favorite color too. Okay. Now, oh, I, and so Dawn sent me some of these die cuts. But I want to show you why. I'm going to show these. She sent some in black. But she sent some that were cut onto decorative paper. Isn't that beautiful? But look at this. This is that Bow Bunny paper. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. That's so gorgeous. And made it look so precious. And then the spoons and everything was cut like that. So, yeah, she had... Okay, come on. Get, get... Um, them all cut in the decorative way. And the coffee cup has um, two pieces. There's this one that cuts the holes, and then there's this one that does like this for the background um, to give it the multi-layer. Isn't that beautiful? I love this die cut. It was, uh, I think it was Spellbinders, and she got it a Tuesday morning, if any of you are interested. But that's just gorgeous. So, she sent me those um, for me to see because we were talking about the um, um, tea sets that my grandmother collected. And I can definitely use these. Make me think of my grandmother that, that paper does. So, I can definitely use these in creating something. And so, I do believe that was it from that haul with Dawn. And I will be back um, soon with some more videos. I have been working on some projects in the background, so I will be showing you some of those very soon. Thank you so much for stopping by, and thank you again, Dawn. Bye.